how to pay your HMRC tax or national insurance bill brought to you by Boogles Bookkeepers. If you like the content, please do subscribe, like and share. So after you have filed your tax return, you may be wondering, how do I pay my tax bill? Well, what you need to do is log into your HMRC account and scroll down. You'll see a page much like this. So this is where previous tax returns are. And this is where you'll see your balance, how much you owe and how to make a self-assessment payment. So what you do is you'd click on make a self-assessment payment. Then, the, then it gives you three options and you choose a way to pay. So it might be direct debit as a one-off payment, a bank transfer where you pay from your bank directly to HMRC, or it might be by debit card or corporate credit card. So you've got three options. So let's explore each one. So bank transfer, for example, say we go for the middle option and this is where you get HMRC's bank details to make your payment using your bank's website. So if you were to click on that, you get the next option and this is how you pay by bank transfer. Now, just make sure that you've taken your own payment reference. And when you do this, you will see a payment reference come up. So don't use this one on the screen. Use the one which would be on your screen. And so this is the bank details for Cumbernauld. Uh, the account is 39 and this is the bank details for Shipley and the account ends 20 and you just have to always make sure you use your payment reference if you log into your own account you will see a different payment reference to the one coming up on the screen it's normally 10 digits followed by a, a letter so 11 in total now you sometimes also may get a pay slip in the post if you're still getting letters through the post from HMRC and that will have a pay slip on it and that will tell you which account to use but if you're not sure just use Cumbernauld and you can also use your pay slip take the pay slip to the bank and pay your tax and national insurance in that way but often what it is is a lot of people are just getting email communications now they don't have a pay slip and they don't know how to pay so that's how th these are the options for when you pay by bank choose Cumbernauld if you're not sure sort code and account number and use your own payment reference second option is that you can set up a direct debit and to do that your payment reference whatever that might be you will need that number when you set up the direct debit because you're going to use the HMRC system to set up the direct debit they need your payment reference number which is unique to you like I say normally 10 digits followed by a letter you can make a single one-off direct debit payment for your tax or, non or national insurance it's not a recurring payment for just the single one-off direct debit payment so what you would do you'd see this screen direct debit payment you'd click set up direct debit payment so you click set up direct debit payment then you get to this page and what you need to do is you fill in your name and your bank details you tick that it's your bank account and you are authorized to make the direct debit set up direct debit instructions and then you click next and then the third and final way in which you can pay is by debit card so there is no fee if you pay by personal debit card you can't pay using a personal credit card but you can use a corporate as in a business credit or debit card and a lot of people even though they're self-employed they actually are using personal bank accounts to run their business you shouldn't really use a personal bank account you should have a business bank account but a lot of people just use their personal bank account and if that's the case uh, you can still pay um, using your personal debit card, but you can't pay using a personal credit card. So just be aware of that. And so what you would do when there's three ways to pay, you choose debit card and continue, and then you select an amount to pay. So you can pay the outstanding amount and it will tell you how much is outstanding, 
or you can pay a different amount. So in this case, I click pay a different amount and then just, let me just go back a page. You type in how much you want to pay, then you click continue and then you enter in your card billing address details and always include your email because that will send you a receipt and then just click continue, follow the instructions on the page. So that's how you can pay your tax or national insurance with HMRC. Log into your account, choose make a payment, choose which payment you want and follow the instructions. Any other questions, do send an email, admin at booglesltd.com. And if this has been useful for you, do subscribe, like and share because there are always new videos being added answering your questions.